Hello and a very warm welcome to the Insider Essay, your guide to living better. This week, social media's pilot on the gram balances her long-term flight plans with living in the moment. Tiny homes condense all you need into a savvy designer lifestyle you can set up anywhere. For actor, producer, entrepreneur Tapelo Mokwenya, connectivity will set you free. Travels in a combi called Winston open our eyes to the joys of taking it slow. Actress Jessica Nkosi returns to the country for time out from drama. While DJ Tira never forgets to play in the sun while chasing the dream. If your aspirations could do with a lift, consider what pilot and Instagram sensation Melissa has achieved. Her father dreamt of earning his wings and his daughter has made good for both of them. Nothing could make him prouder. Hi everyone, my name is Melissa, also known as Adpada on the Gram. I'm a 24-year-old commercial pilot, aircraft manager and content creator. Welcome to my office. Come on in, guys. I always wanted to be a pilot since a young, young age. I had such a passion for the industry and it was so exciting when I'd ever I'd get the privilege to actually board an aircraft and um, be exposed to turbulence, funny enough. That was one of my favorite, favorite things as a kid. An average day for me is different every single day. In the charter industry, we don't necessarily have a schedule. So we fly different routes all the time, different passengers and different times throughout the day. So for me, just getting to work, prepping for the flight. I usually prep the night before because I like to be well prepared. Melissa now runs a mentorship program based on things she wished she knew before entering the industry. So I currently fly this beautiful King Air 200, which is a nine-seater turboprop aircraft. As you can see, she's absolutely stunning. What's unique about our aircraft is that we have a dedication to my mom, who's a breast cancer survivor. I think why I really, really love flying the King Air is that it looks as beautiful as it does inside and out, and really knows how to get down and dirty when it comes to flying in and out of game reserves, something any other jet wouldn't be able to do. Also along for the ride are her hundreds of thousands of social media followers. Just last year on Instagram, I had less than 4,000 followers and I said to myself, you know what, let me just take a leap of faith, start creating content about my job because this is my passion. And the response was completely overwhelming. I'm now in a position where I get to share my passion every single day with millions and millions of people, not only from South Africa, but all over the world. And what more could you ask for? It feels amazing because I feel like this really has given me the platform to not only encourage and inspire, but to reach many more people who feel like their dreams are unattainable. I'm living proof that that's not the case. So before every flight, we've got a couple of things that we need to take care of. Today, I'm going to take care of the external checks while Wesley preps the flight deck and checks all our documents. Cool. Mind taking my bag? Alrighty. <laughs> Thank you. With our propellers, what we check for is that there's no significant chips or any sort of dents that will change the shape of the prop. We also make sure that the, the propellers can move free without any clicking noises so that we know everything else is good. With regards to our tires, we have to make sure that there's no flat spots, making sure that tires are looking good and not too smooth. Also, we have to check into the landing gear, making sure that there's no birds, nests, making sure there's no snakes, anything like that. Making sure all our lights are in check, none of them are cracked. Got to check our ailerons to make sure that there's full free movement. Making sure that there's no wires sticking out. Looks all good. Think we're ready to go. The other half of that we is Melissa's fellow pilot, captain and fiancé Wesley. They make a formidable team. It's really important to separate our professional and our personal lives. As soon as our uniform is on and as soon as we're in this flight deck, professional mode comes on and personal life takes a back seat for sure. Yeah, that's very important because clients look at us and they want professionalism. So most of the time people don't even know we're in a relationship when we're in the cockpit. So, and we prefer to keep it that way. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> um, we get generally rostered as captain, first officer. But in the cockpit, we've got something which you call pilot flying as well as pilot monitoring. Mm -hmm. As pilot monitoring, you are mostly busy with the radio, the GPS, a lot of paperwork. And then as pilot flying, you generally make sure that... Um, yeah, you're solely responsible for flying the aircraft, making sure that safety is our number one priority. Teamwork makes the dream work. We've got to be 
constantly bouncing ideas off one another, making sure safety is the number one priority. 100%. Okay, some important stuff in the cockpit that we never leave without is definitely our iPad. It has majority of the information we need. Headsets, also super, super important because without this, we can't communicate in the yep. cockpit, nor can we talk to ATC. Oh, don't forget your GoPro. You never fly without that. That's true. Thing. Without that, there'd be no content. <laughs> It hasn't been all Insta stories. Looking for work for a year and a half after graduating was a reality check. So we actually met back in air school. We both studied towards our commercial pilot's licenses together and that's how we got to know each other. So my parents sent me to study, but I guess I ended up coming back with a commercial pilot's license and a boyfriend. You mean fiance? <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold your hand because you're not on duty anymore. Yeah. What makes it special is the fact that we get to see all these beautiful places together, we get to travel, we get to experience different milestones together. I mean, coming into a King Air and I had slightly a little bit more experience than Melissa and watching how she's progressed along and she's become this amazing pilot who's got this mentorship program. It's just been awesome to achieve different milestones together. Melissa loves food, may not look like it, <laughs> but she loves food. Um, I love scenery and just driving this car. So what we do is we drive the car and we go and get good food. That keeps her happy, it keeps me happy. <laughs> this car is actually called a Millennium 7, designed and built by aeronautical engineers who work for our company, Africa Charter Airline. And this one pushes about 600 horsepower, down-tuned, but it can push a lot more. Getting to pilot 737 jets is her next goal, but for now, she's just living in the moment. This is actually my dad's kit car, it's his weekend car. Yeah. So we borrow it from him every now and again to just escape reality. Okay, so who do you think is the petrol head between the two of us? Definitely me, um, but I must say you've come a long way. Thank I've you. taught you how to tell the difference between a Golf 5, Golf 6, Golf 7. I can tell uh, cars apart by the sound by now the as sound well. Now as as well. well. I just love everything. <laughs> Airplanes, I love everything. Speed sort of 100%. thing. Although I think you drive a lot crazier than I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably why we've got to change brakes all the time. <laughs> Thanks so much Insider SA for joining us today. It was an absolute pleasure to have you flying and driving with us. Make sure to check me out on all my social handles at Pilot on the Gram. See you soon. Melissa hopes to own her own jet one day and the smart money says she'll do it. Coming up, downsizing and working remotely come together in the tiny home boom and how Topelo Mokwenya stays in touch with all his people. Subcultures can go mainstream pretty quickly once they make economic sense to the broader public, which is shown by the growing market for tiny homes. Self-contained or modular, they allow you to live, work, play and move anywhere a road can take you. Hi, I'm Yulandi. And I'm Grant. Welcome to our tiny home here in Cool Bay Nature Reserve. Step inside. So the tiny house movement has really taken off internationally and we think it's time that South Africa starts living tiny. Join the movement. Living tiny means that you can have all the same luxuries as in a normal size house. We've got our bedroom, we've got our bathroom and we've got our kitchen all in eight meters. Yeah, so we've thought about clever ways of making the space feel bigger. So we've looked at using floor to ceiling glass windows. We've done things like building in storage under the bed. So we've got nice big like one meter storage drawers got ample space in our kitchen, so we have plenty of drawers, we've got built-in stove, we have nice countertops, we've gone to a lot of trouble to choose high quality finishes, like for example the birch ply cladding, it's furniture grade birch ply, so it's not so easy to get, but it really gives you that beautiful finish. We've gone for a particularly big shower with uh, proper tiles on the floor and tiles on the wall and high-end fittings all around our sanitary wear. Yeah, we also feel it's important to be paying attention to your lighting. So how do you live in your space? Sometimes you need task lighting, so we've got built-in lights around the bed. We've done uh, mood lighting in the kitchen and, and along the two lengths of the home. And then of course you've got your, in, your outside lights as well. So there's something for every time of the day, depending on what you're doing. 
built on wheels and made from light steel frames, which allow you to take them to any level surface. They are designed to either plug into local water and power, or even better, to be self-sustaining. Okay, so our house is completely off-grid. We've got a three kilowatt solar system over here. There's our inverter. We've got a smart Sonoff house system, which enables you to turn the lights on and off with your cell phone. We've got a water pressure pump. We've got a gas geyser, which allows you to get instant hot water when you turn the tap on. Completely living off grid. When you're living tiny, you definitely want to pay a lot of attention to modular configurability of your furniture and your use of space. So what we often do is we'll sit in the morning and maybe have our coffee here looking out on our lovely view and getting in a little bit of a work. But when we have friends around, we can move this table over there. And the idea with the storage bed is that it also f doubles up as a bench. So we just put some cushions out. We've got two of us sitting on that side and two or three more people joining us with comfort. Working cleverly with your space is the best tip to living tiny. Because family units or small tourism enterprises expand, these allow for adding kids' pods, work or social pods, and connecting spaces with decks and interleading walkways. The worldwide trend is really moving towards more and more tiny home living and even tiny home estates. This is literally the first step in a grand plan. And we want to change the way that people live in the future. We want to create new lifestyles, new ways of living, uh, healthier ways of living, where one can spend more time doing what they want. Safer as well, much safer, yeah, living in a community. Exactly, kind of you're living off grid. So you're using solar power, you're using water collected from rain, you're using a composting toilet or using a septic tank, and you're growing your own food. With remote work the new normal, and when you've covered all the bases, as well as these mobile tiny homes do, it's a breeze to live in the moment. Our hospitality industry is in such need of our support right now. So actor, producer and restaurant entrepreneur Tapelo Mukwena invited us to one of his favorite hangouts in Craig Hall to show us how he's keeping his business, family and life together. Hey, how are you doing the Insider SA family? So good to be with you again. Today I take you on a journey with me for a slice of my day and how exactly I take on every single task that I have and how I own it. Right? I'm not doing it alone, I'm doing it before the comrade. So, first up, Louise and Anna. One of my favorite spots, the deco, the environment, just so soulful and like full of culture, inspired by Louisiana and New Orleans, so is the food. So, I've got a few colleagues coming to join me, so it's gonna be quite an interesting day for me. What does living in the moment mean for me? Constantly staying connected with every single part of my existence. That is my business partners, my family. Just because I left home this morning doesn't mean I have to wait till this evening to see them. With my Vodacom package, that is seamless for me. So me being part of the Vodacom Red VIP family really changes my life and it takes my game to a whole new level. For example, I'm sitting here right now and I'm talking to my different teams, right? I'm able to do that. In fact, I've got a multi-SIM option, so I keep the same contract that I've got on this phone on this phone. In case one phone goes off, I've got another phone. Same goes for my iPad. Multi-SIM has completely changed my life. Anywhere I am, I'm connected. And I think about my teams. I've got the team at the restaurant, I've got the production team, I've got my family business that I work with my brothers in, and each of them can never use this excuse ever again. Oh, sorry, I had no airtime, I couldn't. No, 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 no. I'm able to share airtime with any of my team members, right? It's called data share. You now have access to lifestyle experiences and lifestyle rewards. You know how I like to keep fit? We've added Sweat 1000, all right? You get a free three month plan with Sweat 1000 when you sign up for Vodacom Red VIP. Now, what else would you ask for? Hmm? Still, nothing beats hanging in person with friends Tsepo Kokoali and Mzikumalo. Yo, that is. Yeah? Yeah. 
I know why we came here now. <laughs> it's you, the one. You see why I insisted on this place. So the food, you know what I like is how he's brought the, the, the Louisiana and New Orleans culture into this entire experience. So the food is heavily inspired by New south. Orleans in the south and the culture. Yeah, corner. And what I like is it's just healthy, man. You know, my energies are still good and I can run with the day. Yeah, it'll be so good. It's good, good, yeah. good choice. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Good choice. As was Tapello's decision to star in writer-director Ugo Carlini's film Angelina with Marcel Hopkins. Hello, 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 hello. How are you? Anyway, it's good to see you guys, Marcel. Nice to see you, dear co-star. So excited. I, I, don't, I don't know what to expect. So the excitement for me is like completely over the moon and it couldn't have been done without the two of you. Here's the exciting thing. The whole world gets to stream our film and well done to us for opening weekend. So, you know, let's take it to the top. Yeah. I love you guys so much, okay? Here we are, fam, second stop. One of my favorite spaces in Johannesburg where I like to come and experience a bit of wine. You know I'm about the wine, let's go. What we have here is a space that is really a complete experience. Wine combined with the idea of making bread, sourdough bread, right in front of you as you wait. But this is a favorite of mine, a house built and founded by a very good friend of mine, Nyaku. It's very special. Talk about unlocking experience. With travel limited, for now, you know, one still gets to travel through the beautiful grape. You know, I can go to Italy, I can go to Sicily, I can go to South Africa. Speaking of travel, Vodacom Red has many benefits for travelers. But when I say travel, I mean travel and accommodation, of course. Win, win, win. If technology gets you out there to breathe in every moment with those you care about, it has fulfilled its purpose. My son just joined me after his swimming class and take a bit of a stroll at the park, feed some ducks, just to constantly have that connection, you know, whether it's digital or physical, the relationship stays seamless throughout the day. This is what living in the moment is for me. Quality of life, quality experience, quality Vodacom Red VIP partner. I know that anything had to happen to my device, it stays covered. I'm covered from theft. If it had to break, my screen crack, I'm still covered. So why worry when you're with the Vodacom Red VIP plan? Just live your life. Thank you guys. One love and respect, be good. See you on the other side of hustle. Salud. Experience Red and unlock more with Vodacom Red. Stand a chance to win one of 10 10 gig data bundles courtesy of Vodacom. To enter, find the Vodacom post on the Insider SA social pages and comment on the post telling us what you like most about the Vodacom Red plans. Comp closes at midnight on Saturday, 16th October. Winners will be announced on Expresso on Monday morning, 18th October. T's and C's apply and can be found on the insidersa.co.za. Still to come on the Insider SA, a 70s combi takes us 27,000 years back in time. Queen of drama Jessica and Corsi slows it down to a country pace. And DJ Tierra captures the moments that take his breath away. Insider SA, connected by Vodacom Red. Switch to a new Vodacom Red plan to unlock more. Living in the moment is so much easier when you decide to let infinite moments come to you. For vintage auto and travel enthusiasts D. Gregory and Alan Patterson, the way to do that is road tripping the nation in their retro 70s combi camper van. Morning, the Insider SA. I'm D. And I'm Alan, and uh, welcome to our camper, Winston the Combi. We've always wanted to explore and travel 
South Africa, and what better way of doing that than with a combi? This is my second combi. Brought it back here and stripped it, completely refurbished it, rebuilt it from the ground up. All the new uh, cupboards inside, got all the upholstery done, resprayed it with the, the red and white color scheme. With D being British, the idea was we were going to do this British theme, and that's why he's got all the, uh, the British colors. We also found going for local drives, the combi was the same color as lighthouses. And so the idea came up that we were going to go and chase lighthouses in the Western Cape and then pose the combi with the lighthouses um, because he looks similar to them. So ever since then, uh, we've been doing our, our camps whenever we've got the opportunity to. Right, so this morning we've decided to go and chase a new lighthouse. We're heading all the way up to Mossel Bay to Cape St. Blaise Lighthouse. With a 360 degree view, this is their penthouse hotel suite on wheels. What do we love about road tripping in Winston? Well, he's a very eccentric looking car. He's very spacious, very comfortable. It's just not a fast car, but that adds to the trip enjoyment because uh, you take it nice and easy. You get to see a lot of the countryside. That's pretty much it. I don't like the cold weather. So for me personally, I prefer the warmer weather. And with that, you get the flowers, you get the beautiful countryside, you get the blue sky, the clouds, and it's just an overall good feeling. So Winston's a vintage, 40 plus year old car. It's an exciting adventure driving with him on the roads. Not the best of handling, but it's a nice, easy, slow, comfortable drive. And it's all about uh, the adventure, finding um, lighthouses, new camping sites, getting out and about in the countryside and uh, just enjoying the freedom that Winston gives us. If their combi was a ship by night, they'd see the beam from Mossel Bay's famous lighthouse from 25 miles out to sea. We got the full tour from enthusiast Marius Kearney. Well, Alan, this lighthouse was erected in 1864. Yes. Now, let me take you a little bit back. You know, Bartholomew Adia arrived 533 years ago. Okay. And this is pretty much the site. And this is why we call it the St. Blaise Lighthouse because it, it was actually founded, uh, you know, in February, uh, you know, celebrating the festival St. Blaise. Recently, we had some amateur radio guys. You know, uh, it's a yearly phenomenon. You know, the guys get together at all the lighthouses throughout the world, and they actually, on a, on a certain frequency, they have communication with each other. And we were very fortunate this year, over that weekend, uh, some of the guys had contact with Australia. So what's very significant about that Everything they discuss on that band, on that frequency, is recorded and noted. So what the guys do is they send from one lighthouse to the other, they send a postcard. And normally that postcard goes along with a gift. And it's that gift that becomes sought after. Now a while before Mr. Diaz dropped anchor, local artists had an open air gallery here. You know, what's more significant is that the lighthouse is actually built right above the caves where we still today find rock art dating back 27,000 years. That is magnificent. The interesting fact about uh, Cape St. Blaise Lighthouse, the fact that it's uh, got these uh, cave paintings and wall paintings and stuff underneath it in the caves dating 27,000 years back. We didn't realize there was such a history uh, to this lighthouse and the, the ground that it stands on. From caves to camper vans, accommodation in Mossel Bay has improved in 27,000 years. The combi is self-sustainable, boasts a three-meter gazebo to get more bang for your camping buck, and why not bry every night? For our first uh, really long distance drive, Winston did really well, uh, ran a good speed, there was no mechanical problems, 450 something kilometers, flawless, everything good. There we go, day one, done and dusted. Winston, what a combi. Let's see what day two holds in uh, store for us. Brilliant, I'm looking forward to day two. With the seats converted into a comfy bed, everyone gets a decent night's rest. Good 
morning. What an awesome day here. Uh, our first night, all good. And uh, so what do you think we're going to get up to today, Dee? I think we're going to do quite a bit of exploring. Uh, we'll leave Winston behind today and then we'll go and explore. Gorgeous as the beaches are, the local hospitality industry still goes out of its way to create venues which intrigue, fascinate and surprise. At the beginning of August, I came for a photography weekend and while we were scouting for locations, we stumbled across the Blue Shed. And for me, it's just unique. It's something different. And the quirkiness, the design and the interior really appealed to me. And for me, the chandeliers are probably my favorite feature. So when Alan and I had discussed our next Chasing the Lighthouse at Mossel Bay, I just had to bring Alan along to show him. Ops manager Gino Ricciardi and his team offer more than your regular cup of joe. The coffee roastery was not always a coffee shop. The, the shed itself is about uh, half a century old. So in the old days, they used to repair uh, vehicles. Yeah, you can see the, the wooden planks here. If you lift them, we've got an inspection pit underneath there. And today it forms the base for our long table for our guests. If you look around you, the shed is made up of things that are maybe a couple of years old in, in cane furniture to things that are maybe centuries old. So it's a real mixture. But our newest, newest item is this amazing made to scale. It's a Rolls-Royce aeroplane engine, but actually it's a, it's a fully functional coffee machine. So very unique. But Alan's eye had been caught by these faded beauties. I'm a big car fanatic, love old classic cars more than the newer stuff. I saw all these cars, I wanted to come and have a closer look at them. The Land Rover, there's an old Ford here, some really nice classic cars that are just lying around and uh, look awesome. If you like your holiday time to move a little slower, then Pierre Pullman has the solution. We started with this train, the Diaz Express, in early 2015. We converted three inspection trolleys and are using it for this unique purpose, showing people a totally new vision of South Africa, of the Southern Cape, of the garden route. On the way, we go through a tunnel, we go through cuttings, we go past all those beautiful little beach resorts, beautiful views, and we end up at the Malgata River where we stop on that bridge, that scenic bridge, where we can see uh, down that river is about 50 meters down with those beautiful holes carved by the water over millions of years of action. The, uh, the trip here on the train ride, um, what an experience along the coast. Stunning locations, looking at all the properties, but a uh, very beautiful place. Lunch was a revelation. On top of every table at the Maloney's family venue being the best table in the house, Ken is an artist of singular talent. Welcome to Sierplas. I'm the owner of Ken Maloney, and welcome to a beautiful spot. My wife's got a gift shop. My daughter runs a coffee shop with an art gallery, and we also a wedding venue with accommodation, which is totally on the beach. My art is a sculpted art piece, which is, in my perspective, living art. I put lights into the art piece, which enhances the shadowing and the light of my art. And I developed the concept. This place is beautiful. You have a a majestic view of the sea and it's a very very calming place as soon as you come and there is a stunning art gallery. The ambiance here is incredible, they've got some stunning food, awesome drinks and some stunning artwork in the gallery, so beautiful. Great day today, going up to the uh, restaurant and uh, heading back now towards uh, Mossel Bay. We've had a very slow and relaxing afternoon aboard the Diaz Express. We've seen some amazing scenery, very green and very lush. We ended up 
on this bridge, which is about 50 meters high. We were allowed off to have a little walk across. I must admit, Alan and I are a little bit scared of heights. So we managed to walk halfway across and then we came back, took some photos. And it's just been a really relaxing, wonderful way to see the scenery, to see Mossel Bay in a rather bumpy little train, but it's been a glorious afternoon. Yes, this budget-friendly combi camping is for students and young families, but also for any who feel forever young. It's the last morning of our camp here at Mossel Bay, and we've decided to come down to this beautiful beach and grab ourselves an ice cream. And on behalf of me and Alan, and also Winston the Combi, we would like to say a big thank you to the Insider SA for traveling along with us and filming and hopefully having a good time. That's it. Thanks very much, guys. Our thanks to you, Alan and Dee and Winston, for dialing down the pace just enough and showing us it's cool to chill. Coming up, Jessica and Corsi is in no hurry as she and her bestie Audrey Mokine savor every minute of their weekend country getaway. When every minute of her hit TV career is about high-stakes drama, small-town Mpangeni youngster turned telenovela star Jessica Nkosi can do with a return to the peace and quiet of the country. This is so beautiful. It's so stunning. I'm so obsessed. Stunning. Um, okay, hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Jessica Nkosi. This is my beautiful friend, Audrey Mokine. We just arrived at... The Hook in Mahalis. It's so beautiful here. It's so serene. Sunny. What do you think? I definitely needed this. We yeah. can stay here. We can stay. We stay. <laughs> Our property has an African contemporary theme. This is made possible by Deborah Bell sculptures that you can see throughout the entire property. Within the rooms, this is complemented by Karen Boyer's artwork, including plates and crockery. Within the main hall, we have very large mahogany tables that are complemented by brass chandeliers. The property and structure itself has been made from steel and glass windows that were collected from old Cape homesteads. I think I'll spend more time out here than in the bedroom, which Ooh. is surprising because I love sleeping, you know that? Yeah. <laughs> I thought maybe that would speak to you because you're generally a person that loves being indoors. I know. The outdoors one is me. It's, it's so lovely. serene. Yeah, yeah it I screams I heard there's here, friend. They have monkeys and they have ducks. They have ducks. <laughs> She's afraid of animals. Anything that moves, a cat, a dog, a monkey, a duck. An animal. She's afraid of it. So now I have to go protecting her from little ducks. I mean, really. <laughs> I feel like taking time out to do things like these where you are in a quiet space away from all the hustle and bustle and rustle of Johannesburg is very important. Um, it's very important to take a step back and reevaluate yourself, reevaluate your plans, because sometimes we really get sucked into the noise. And for you to actually just find a way forward, you need to just step back a little bit and take time to relax. Downtime is just really, really a good time for us to just take the time out and refresh, rejuvenate. You know, just so when you get back into the bustle of things and hustle and bustle, you're just like there and you're present and you're able to give the best of yourself. Some guests come just for the spa and it is worth every kilometer of the short drive from Josie. Are you enjoying it? You're doing this so far! I wanna ask you! <laughs> I enjoy foot massages, like... Really? If I'm sitting watching TV, please take my feet and massage and them. And massage them, yeah. okay. So I love this. Vibe. For me, self-care is the most important thing. Usually my self-care is on a Sunday. I will literally run a bath, put candles, bath salts, 
chill in the bath, watch a movie probably while in the bath, soak. And then after that, I will go onto my face, my face and neck. I'll put on face masks, serums, scrub my face. Just cause I wear so much makeup every day during the day. I need to let my face breathe. I need to take care of my skin. So I do the whole nine yards, serums, toner, anti-aging. Guys, anti-aging is very important. Okay, no matter how young you are, start putting on anti-aging creams. You do not want to get old. Make it go all the way down your neck. We met at a mutual friend of ours' birthday party. And yeah, we sort of just like hit it off, eh? Yeah. And we built a really solid uh, relationship outside of just our work relationship. We pray for each other, whether it's our kids' birthdays, our own birthdays. We've just really formed a really, really strong bond. Also because we're both moms. You know, um, and I guess also that aids our mm. friendship quite a bit. Yeah, and I learn a lot from her as a mother as well. Aww. And so that's, yeah, I appreciate that a lot, actually. I don't think I've told you that. Girl! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was always meant to be a mother. Like, I feel like my whole life was leading up to me being a mom. I absolutely enjoy it. I go to work and I look forward to coming home knowing that there's gonna be this little girl just waiting for me to come home. I'm so in love with my baby girl. And now she speaks, we have full on conversations. She knows exactly what she wants. She's very opinionated. She's a happy, happy baby. I'm obsessed with her. I want to instill in her to know that she can achieve any and everything that she wants. So every day I pray for wisdom to raise her the way that God sees fit and to just raise a powerful, confident young girl who is driven and will succeed in life. After starring in three dramas in a row, Jessica can do with an antidote to onset catering. Food here is delicious, I already know that. So I'm really looking, looking forward, forward yeah. to having the dinner because I know it's going to be mind blowing. The menu here at The Hook is exceptional because of our products are locally sourced. Mostly we use our local farmers. We use fisheries with responsibly sourced fish as well. And uh, because of the trends at the current moment, we are looking for healthier dining, though we're still producing the best. I wasn't happy studying law, and I just didn't feel like myself. I felt like it was a drag. I found it difficult to study law, and my passion and my interest lied in the art space. So I changed my degree, and that's when school for me changed. It became more delightful, it was beautiful, it was interesting, I wanted to go to school every day. I graduated and then auditioned for the role of Gondi on Isibaya, and that's when my career started. I would like to play many uh, lead characters. Um, <laughs> I feel like I've played the innocent girl and yeah, that type of character in my first character. I'm currently playing what I always wanted to play was a villain, which at the same time is mixed with like an action baddie, which is great. A real action baddie, Listen. actually. <laughs> <laughs> So there are many characters and many stories to tell. I'd love to play a role of a real life story. And hopefully the person I'm acting out is still alive and I can just drain in their energy. So the list is endless. Art is so beautiful. Storytelling is glorious. What I admire the most about Jessica is her tenacity. She wakes up every single day and she fights for the things that she wants and she works hard. Her work ethic is unmatched. She has manners and the sense of respect for self, for others, and consideration. She's very, very considerate. What keeps our friendship strong is that we, we laugh. And I think we just get, we get each other. You know, sometimes she, um, she can complete my sentences, I complete her sentences, and she can always feel when I'm being distant. You know, our energies are sort of like very much aligned because we've spent so much time together. To the viewers, thank you so much for joining us on this amazing experience. So, it's been really great. Yeah. Cheers to celebrating life. Celebrating life. Cheers. We are social beings. So after the past 18 months, any moment shared with your bestie in person is gold. 
Right after this, KZN's King of Om, DJ Tira, heads for Cape Town and finds out the best view is not inside, it's on top. Sponsored by Capitec. Simplify banking. Live better. Artist, producer and label founder DJ Tira lives a hundred moments a day. From London to the mother city, the man is a force of nature. Hey yo, what up? Touchdown Cape Town. I've got a little bit of business and pleasure that I'm going to be mixing. So yeah, follow me as I get through the day. I've got a studio session that's going to be happening though. That's going to be pretty exciting. But otherwise, follow me. Let's go. The theme of Hotel Sky Cape Town is Afro chic. You've got your gold, you've got your animal print, and you've got tons and tons of bright and beautiful colors all the way from the Infinity Restaurant right down to our fantastic lobby on the ground floor. Over the top chandeliers, great views, and everything contrasts one another. Capitec Digital Banking is DJ Tierra's partner in ensuring that he doesn't slow down for a beat in his creativity or his career. I like the virtual card because it's easier, safer and quick to use. I don't have to carry cash around, I can just use my virtual card. And basically you can activate it for free on your Capitec app. DJ Tira is a boy who grew up in which is a northern KwaZulu Natal. Came to Deben to study at University of Natal. While studying in University of Natal, developed this interest in DJing. And later on now, he has a record company called Afrotainment, also an events company. So in between, man, we sign artists, we also do events. For me, it's very, very important that first of all, I have to enjoy my life. That's why I love traveling, I love seeing places, I love eating good food, I love entertaining people. Also, the focus is very, very important for me. When I go to studio, I'm going to studio to make music, to make hits. I think it's very, very important that if you live a clean life, you get to go far in life. I think I've got 21 years, 22 years in the music industry right now. The discipline, I know that is very, very important because if it wasn't for the discipline that I have, I wouldn't be where I am right now. So I live my life to the fullest, but I have limits that guide me to make sure that my life is chilled, relaxed, easy. My your parents, yes. <laughs> Today, I want to enjoy myself in Cape Town, guys. So I think sky high ride is something that I need to experience this time around. I was kind of scared though, because yo, I saw the showing shorts that is kind of crazy, but I'm that guy who's not scared of anything. So I'm going in, deep in. The biggest attraction is right behind me and that is the Sky High Ride. Located on the 28th floor of the hotel, you've got a tower that goes 35 meters above the building. It takes you up quite slowly and you've got 10 seats that have panoramic views of Cape Town from the Working Harbor all the way to Table Mountain during the day and at night you've got amazing night views of the city. The ride, once it gets to the top, can hold you up there for about three minutes. When you're up there and you think you're just settled, we drop you at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour, depending on the weight on the ride. And as you get to the bottom, your heart sinks right down to your stomach and you think you left your soul in the sky. Hey yo, the moment of truth has arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Sky High Ride. Woohoo! <laughs> So you can choose any seat you'd like, sir. Once you are seated, you just have to sit all the way to the back. Rest your arms on the side. We'll close all the bars immediately. Once it's closed, we will strap you up. And then, yeah, we'll send you up to the moon and bring you back down to ground. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> oh Look ready. my gosh! Yeah, yeah, let's do this. A little bit. Hey! So for that time, let us check. How long is it? Uh, all in all, it's about two to three minutes to ride, depending on how long we leave you on top. But we'll leave you there for about 30 seconds to a minute, then yeah, we'll drop you. But it goes slowly up and we'll come fast down. Oh, 
The business end of this visit took us into a session with local artists Mshai and Mr. Teller. In order to stay relevant, in order to stay in the game, in order to stay killing it, it's important that you keep producing music. So right now I've got a hit called Gilimele with the Q Twins, which is available on my album Rockstar Forever. It's doing well, but still need to get another song for my Q Twins. So it's important to stay producing music so that you stay relevant, so you stay in the chart, so you stay in the video. <laughs> DJ Tira really loves to help other artists and that's what I've been doing, trying to check talent that is out there that I can be able to produce and take them to the next level. So I think I'm going to continue to do that. I need to get more producers, more singers, you know, more vocalists to produce more music. And especially on the GOM movement, because I can see my piano is doing very well. So, you know, I, I, the GOM is a little slacking, so I need to produce more of that note. So that's what I'm about, yeah. This is our first time working with DJ Tira, and we're super excited. DJ Tira is a rock star forever. That's what it is. There's a lot happening at Afrotainment, man. I have to juggle between the family and the business. You see? Hello? Hi, Tira. Could you please send us money for the sound system? Ah, OK. OK, cool. I'll take care of it now. OK. While most traditional banks charge around 50 rand for an immediate payment, Capitech does it for the low fee of 7 rand 50. You see, this is a piece of tradition that I need to take care of and this Capitech app has been saving my life. There's this immediate payment that I can be able to do with the Capitech app and with a charge of 7 rand 50, I can clear money of up to 100,000 rand. So I pay for transaction immediate payment, clean. Perfect. Mwah. So you saw how DJ Tira gets hectic. And without the latest technology, and shout out to banks like Capitec that have this technology to save my life, to keep my life moving. That's my life, and I like it the way it is. Take care. If, like DJ Tira, you would like to live more in the moment, stand a chance of winning a 1,000 Rand cash prize courtesy of Capitech. Simply reply to the competition post on the insidersa.co.za social media platforms using hashtag livebetter. T's and C's apply and can be found on the Insider SA website. Get more of the Insider SA online. Follow, connect, engage, and be inspired to live better with the Insider SA. Watch the show Monday evenings at 5.30. Repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.